What's up, nerds? This is Deej Penalo here from the Nerd Talk Lips Podcast Network, and I'm here to talk to you guys about Patreon. Patreon.com slash Nerd Talk Lips Podcast Network. If you become a patron, you pay as little as $1 per month recurring. That is $12 per year billed monthly. That is less than pennies a day and hardly noticeable when it comes out. That is less than you pay for a coffee or a Coke. Now listen, when you do this, you gain access to an exclusive patron-only RSS feed. You can add that RSS feed to your favorite podcast player. That will be the home of the Nerd Talk Lips podcast bonus shows provided by individual hosts within our network. That being Robert and Colton from Virginia Geekums, me, or Lane from Nerd Talk Lips. That is a really dope deal, guys. We're working really hard to provide you guys more content from within the network. And this will include other Patreon-exclusive shows. Head over to our Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash nerdtalklips. We have a group for the Nerd Talk Lips podcast network. You can join Bridging the Geekdoms, all that good stuff. Got a lot of stuff coming. So if you could consider maybe heading over to patreon.com slash nerdtalklips podcast network and just putting a dollar on the line every month. That would be extremely helpful. What's going on, everyone? Robert and Colton here from Bridging the Geekdoms Podcast, a Nerd Talk Lips Podcast Network show. What is going on, everybody? What is going on? Titties. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh boy! It's your good, boy. Good times. Good times. Yeah. Bob was playing with his titties. <laughs> I was jiggling them for the for the theme music there. It was awesome. It was awesome. It was a sight to see, a sight yeah. to behold. <laughs> it was a sight to behold, but now it just made me blind. <laughs> Aww. Wow. All right. Th- this this show's already going way off. Anyways, what's going on, everybody? This is our post San Diego Comic Con review uh, show where we're going to just talk about all stuff that came out around Comic Con or and or at Comic Con. Uh, so we're going to get into that here shortly in a second. But I want to get something out of the way here. I really do. It's so hard to say. Goodbye. Um. One of the loudest and excited voices yesterday. in the mainstream of nerd and geek culture, uh, John Schnapp, uh, actually see passed away like this weekend. You won't be lonely. See uh, now, John Schnapp, um, I think, is best known for directing one of the most interesting documentaries that have come out that has come out in the past like five, ten years, called "The Death of Superman Lives: What Happened." It was an excellent documentary that talked about the documentary that can't. Or, <laughs> Damn it. See, you're screwing me up, Colton. What? I was doing a good job of keeping it in the background. Um, it was a movie. It was documenting a movie that was supposed to come out in the mid-90s, directed by Tim Burton, called Superman Lives. Uh, there's a lot of story behind what happened with this movie. Um, yeah. With Nicolas Cage supposed to play Superman. I'm sure everybody's heard this by now, but it was an excellent documentary that I urge everybody to check out because it, it's, it really gives you a lot of insight in what, what it was going to be. And what Superman was doing. Just it just stopped. Like they were like days away or hours away from production, and it was like, nope. So psych. Uh, but um, unfortunately, I mean, he did pass away. John Smith passed away. He was definitely a mainstay in my weekly podcast uh, with Superhero Talk on the Collider YouTube slash podcast channel. Um, uh, rest in spaghetti. And he was always spaghetti. someone I was always curious in getting his take on uh, the newest, biggest, and scene. sweatiest movies. So sweaty. Yeah, that's that's kind of his thing. His his thing is he calls all nerds sweaties because oh. it's like you get really sweaty and in, 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 yeah. about like the you know like that nerd culture <laughs> just breathing because so we're that was all like, out of shape. <laughs> but that was really his like his big you know thing. And um, you know, I, I, again, I mean, it's it's unfortunate what happened. He had a stroke earlier on in the week. They did some surgery to that's, try and correct. That's what happens when you're on a boat, like uh, Justin Orr. You stroke. Uh, they were trying to. Um, nope definitely you know fix the issue with surgery and stuff mm. like that and uh unfortunately his wife posted on uh social media thursday i believe it was thursday morning it may have been friday morning that uh he passed away uh just he just rest in spaghetti they they actually they <laughs> actually had to pull the plug on him because um he wasn't gonna get better like that, it you was know? just like he's a vegetable so 
Um, his voice, his, his excitement, and his knowledge will surely be missed uh, by all sweaties in the world. So rest in peace, John Schnepp. And, uh, rest in spaghetti. Thoughts Never are with, forgetting. with the family of you know John Schnepp and his friends. And and may you like feast that. upon the longest piece of garlic bread in heaven. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, uh, big news prior to Comic-Con. Fox officially backed out of the uh, attempts of, of buying... All right, Fox. Comcast. Comcast. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Comcast officially backs out of attempting to purchase Fox and their assets. Uh, looks like Disney is now in the clear to regain control of many of their Marvel properties and gain full control of the Star Wars distribution, as well as add a plethora of content to their library. I knew this was coming. I mean, I yeah. said it weeks ago that no matter what, Comcast was not going to be able to outbid Disney. Uh, there was rumor that they were going to try to, but I didn't think it was going to happen. They probably got word that Disney was not going to be outbid, and they just were like, you yeah. know what? We're not going to offer all of Comcast. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> they backed out. So, I mean, at this point, I mean, it's probably no more than 12 months away, and it, it'll probably be official now. This week, this Wednesday, I think is... <gasps> When the Fox higher ups are going to meet and finally vote, like yay or nay. Yeah. So as long as everything goes well there, yeah, ten to twelve months and it'll be completed. I think. And then we'll have so. Deadpool. Hopefully, like we were just talking about. <laughs> All right. Uh, so shit on my dick with an ass. This past weekend was Comic Con. A whole shit ton of information and You're news came out. Fucking telling me. So here's here's what we're gonna do. All right. Um, I kind of have it broken down a little bit. I have like Star Wars, I have Marvel, DC, and then other. That's kind of how I broke it down. Um, I just want to have a discussion. I will hit. We'll talk about whatever. Um, cool. I, I Gooch. Mean, I'll make sure we don't miss anything important. Uh, but I do want to hit things. But let's try and stick to one thing at a time. So, what do you want to start with first? Gordon? I'll let you pick. Fucking Clone Wars. Yo. Clone Wars. So, panel a panel celebrating the 10th anniversary of Clone Wars television was. Uh, very interesting. I watched the entire mm. panel. Somebody recorded on their phone and posted on YouTube. Uh, definitely interesting. Uh, mm. You know, it just gave some more insight to what Clone Wars was, how yeah. it came to be, everything like that. Uh, Matt Lanter was there. He's the voice of Anakin Skywalker. You had uh, the voice of uh, Ahsoka. Well, I can't remember her name all of a sudden. Ahsoka. I can't remember Ahsoka her name. Ahsoka was the voice of Ahsoka, people. It's making me mad now. But Making me there. mad was the voice of Ahsoka. <laughs> Dave Filoni was there, and one other, I think, producer was there as well. Uh, and then Dave Floney was like, I'll show you all my penis. Well, the most interesting aspect uh, came right at the end when Dave Floney was, you know, just basically saying his thank you. You know, thank you to all the fans for, mm. you know, being s such great fans for this show through the long time, even when it ended, stuff like that. Mm. He was like, and, you know, to show our appreciation, you know, we, we just put a little something together for you guys. So just take a look. And that's mm. kind of how he introduced it. And uh, then it happened. A fucking yeah. trailer for Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Wars, st st the fuck Star Wars Clone Wars uh, season yeah. I guess seven I guess you'll call it seven because there was some of yeah. six that was released on Netflix uh, it, this is what we know um, Ahsoka's gonna be in it and, Ahsoka's in it uh, and it seems Anakin's that, hair got longer in a little bit uh, it's gonna be 12 episodes that's what they Thanks. have so far uh, it's going to be released on the Disney streaming service which means it'll be 2019 sometime exclusively uh, that's, or are they going to let Adult Swim have some of it, too? Again, they did not announce any of this. <coughs> so the voice of Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I can't remember General his name. General Kenobi. I can't remember his name right now either, and it's really irking me. And I could just look it up, but I'm too lazy to. Sam. Uh, he posted a video on like Facebook or Twitter or something like that. And mm -hmm. he, this was after the announcement, or not the announcement, but the trailer. Because they once the trailer came up, they are like, yeah, there you have it. Let's play it again. And they played it again, and they left the, the stage. There was no information except for it's coming, it's back. You yeah, know? hashtag Clone, Clone Wars, Wars saved. saved. That was it. So no information was given except for the voice of um, Obi Wan Kenobi. Let's slip that. Oh, I had a great time, you know, recording these twelve episodes. You know, and mm. it'll be awesome seeing it on the Disney streaming service. He <laughs> is the one that slipped up and putting and saying that it's on there. No official statement was made by Lucasfilm mm. or Disney that it's going to be. 12 episodes in there, nor do we have any confirmation that this will be the final season, like a lot, like a lot of people are saying. Yeah. Like, I did some research on this because I was like, is this really going to be the final season? Because I think they could get away with probably two or three seasons easy, yeah. especially like, if they're only 12 easy. episodes. You know, so. And there's a lot of Clone Wars to cover. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they cover a lot, but I mean, they could, they, they could cover a lot more. Yeah. Especially the way they jump around in the original series. Well, like, 
yeah like, four times I mean, like you don't have to have a set storyline anyway uh, that's the thing like yeah clone wars exactly like a lot of it like they had multiple storylines going through each season mm-hmm. and even like the darth maul the darth maul story arc took almost three seasons two or three yeah. seasons to get through so and they wasn't like oh episode one took place here so episode two is going to take place after that yeah. no that took place like 20 years before that or whatever yeah. so uh, it, it's definitely i think something that they could do more than one season but there's a rumor that it's only going to be one season the final season but we know it's a fan service so according to you know what we know uh, uh, to the voice of Obi-Wan 12 episodes and it will be on the Disney streaming service uh, no official word like I said if these 12 episodes are all they are making or if they will leave it open enough to do multiple seasons so what you're telling me is I gotta buy this Disney streaming service I mean I was going to I'm gonna have to there's gonna be so many damn streaming services yeah. we're gonna get See, we, can we finally get a service that's going to link them all together so it's not like, oh, hey, I got like five payments of nine ninety nine coming out of my bank account today. That would suck. Just give me like five payments of 25 just one payment of 25 I don't know, to, to me, it's one of the most exciting things that happened that Clone Wars is coming back. And it's really, it's really funny because this past week, and I had no idea that this was coming. I don't think anybody mm. really had it. Like, I think there was some like, hey, maybe they'll bring it back. But I don't think anybody really believed that it was going to happen. Yeah. Um, I just watched the entire Darth Maul story, uh, arc. story arc on Clone Wars this past week. So Such a good story. I'm like back invested in, in in the Clone Wars. So I like want to jump back into the whole series. And then this news comes out. I'm like, oh, I got to watch the whole thing again. So then you got to buy the Lego game. Yeah, why? <clears throat> Lego game's fun as shit. Yeah. Uh, Don't you shake your hand, Connix? The The last, the last bit of Star Wars news that came out this weekend, um, and it's not really news, but Episode Nine started filming. So yeah, woo! That started filming. Um, Awesome. So I'm sure within the next couple months, we're going to start hearing some rumors, seeing some you know stupid things that it's happened with the last four movies. You know, like we. We see Jar Jar Binks is going to be in it. We see pictures that we're not supposed to see. We hear casting news and stuff like that. So I think a lot of that stuff's going to start popping up here over the next few few months. So. Jar Jar Binks will return. Mark my word. <laughs> All right, where do you want to hit next, man? Um, hmm. Marvel. Marvel. All right. Um, Marvel. So they really only had a few things that yeah. happened at Comic-Con. Uh, the MCU stayed pretty much away from Comic-Con with the exception of their first 10 years panel, which I don't even know if it was a panel, but they had something where they, they discussed the first 10 years and uh, they unveiled a book set that's covering the 10 years of this first 10 years of the cinematic universe. Woo. Uh, then we got a bunch from like the TV shows. TV stuff. side. There wasn't that much. We got more than the universe. Iron Fist season two trailer shown. Did you watch it? No, cause I didn't care for Iron Fist. It really wasn't anything crazy good. Like it's him. Him walking down the street and he's like, you know, I have to be the hero for this city. Basically because Daredevil's gone. So he's like, I gotta be the hero for this city. And he fights a few thugs. And then all of a sudden a bunch of thugs show up in the in the alleyway. And then he uses mm-hmm. his iron fist and, and punches the ground. And then nice. it just cuts. That's pretty much all it is. Uh, I didn't like Iron Fist. So. <laughs> uh, we also got a release date for it, which will be September 7th, 2018. Make sure I avoid that date. I am pretty upset because I really thought Daredevil, Punisher, Punisher Season 2, and Iron Fist are all completed. Mm-hmm. Their, their filming is completed. Their next seasons are done. Um, I kind of understand why Iron Fist is coming out first because it seems like they're going to do, do the story arc where he's kind of covering for Daredevil. Because if you don't know, spoilers, Daredevil dies in The Defenders. Nice. So, you know, everybody Same. everybody thinks he's dead, so Danny Rand is going to take on the mantle sort of. of and that, that happened in the comics. Yeah. So it's kind of falling into comics, it's a comic storyline. So, where, where we quote unquote die. Yeah. So he's going to take on the mantle, but I really thought we'd get something from Daredevil because we all know that he's not dead. Because, well, first off, at the post credit scene of Defenders, we see he's not dead. Yeah. But, you know, he's not dead. So, uh, like, I thought we would get something. Like, maybe, you know, a teaser for it, or at least, mm. hey, it's going to come out first quarter of 2018 or, or 2019. 2019 or something like Goes that. Goes back in time and releases it. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> He's uh, good, man. He's good. So we got nothing on Daredevil or Punisher. So uh, Cloak and Dagger renewed for season two. And besides that, Marvel really had no other news except for this. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Now, this didn't happen at Comic-Con, but it happened during Comic-Con, which is probably the worst thing that they could have 
possibly done with how little they information they had coming out this weekend with Ant Man and the Wasp now kind of out of everybody's mind and most people has have forgotten them that that movie ever existed. Like they have nothing going for Marvel right now. There's Except literally for that, nothing going. That lone drummer ant and forever burned into my mind. James Gunn has been fired from Guardians of Galaxy 3 and apparently any future Marvel Disney films due to tweets that he tweeted between 2008 and 2011. That was 10 years ago. Let me let me hear your thoughts, buddy. Let me... 10, to se- 10 to 7. 7 to 10 years ago. The fuck? That's like hiring someone that's clearly not fit for the job. Or like clearly like, I should look at this dude's Facebook. But you don't, and then you wonder why he's a piece of shit. Well, not necessarily a piece of shit, but then you go back, like, after he's worked there for seven to ten years, and then, like, oh, hey, we got to fire you now. So here's the for, thing. For shit that happens seven to here's ten Here's the thing ago. that's interesting about it, all right? Yeah, he posted some ridiculous stuff. I'm not going to – I don't have it pulled up what he said. Uh, some weird rape comments, some weird – Something about pedof- fucking her right in the pussy or something. Some weird uh, pedophilia – comments stuff like that now mind you a lot of these things that that were talked about on uh, on his tweets were games that were being played like like the hashtag games you know like yeah like we played i did one one time where like you know hashtag yellow hashtag you know unlikely Wait. star wars story titles you know like stuff like that <laughs> hashtag waste her time 2018 <laughs> but like that he was playing some of those games so yeah it's going to be off the wall does that mean mean it's right that he did it not necessarily however later before before guardians of the galaxy came out before that first movie even came out in theaters okay he went and apologized for all of this stuff he said look i was going through some dark times in my life there are things that i'm not proud of that i said mm-hmm. that i shouldn't have said and stuff like that i do apologize and he apologized for him since then since Everything was fine. We have not seen any kind of remarks like that by him on Twitter, on Facebook, anything like that, or Instagram. I've listened to a few podcasts with him where he's the guest on the podcast. And yeah, I mean, he sounds like a weird, crazy dude. Like he likes to have some fun and go out and party and, and you know, orgies and, and stuff like that. Well, no, no, not necessarily that, but like he likes to have fun. And, you know, like honestly, like I. I I don't see why they just jumped the gun, ha, huh, and fired him like this. Ah, <laughs> I am five years later getting that joke. <laughs> I, no, I, it makes no sense I, at all. I, I mean, it's it's one of those things. Okay, so somebody dug up these tweets and were like, "Hey, this guy sucks." And Disney was like, "Whoa, whoa, those tweets are bad. It doesn't match up with <laughs> Tweet, tweets are bad. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Tweets are real bad." <laughs> but they're like, "This doesn't mesh with our family values and such." So, okay, I understand that. But they could have flipped it. They could have flipped it so easily. They could have just said, look, we see this. We see that in 2010, 2011, whatever, he he posted some tweets that were inappropriate. We have since spoken with James Gunn, and we understand that he had gone through some dark times and he was having rough, you know, a rough time. Yeah. But and that could have been it. But here's the thing. He was able to get out of it. And that's the kind of people that we want to to be in business with. People that understand and fix themselves. Yes, we understand that there are going to be people like Kevin Spacey who are just complete dicks and assholes and disgusting and, and, and inappropriate on set that will probably never change. Me. Okay? Me. And the fact that the stuff that happened with Kevin Spacey happened at that moment in time and they were like, look, it just happened two days ago. You're gone. Yeah. Whereas James Gunn, it happened years ago and he's apologized for it and he hasn't done it since. Yeah. So when you look at it like that, it's kind of like Disney, you dropped the ball here. You you could have been the leader in this because look at what's going on with like Chris Hardwick. You know, yeah. he's getting he's getting shit on, losing all of his jobs despite the fact that there's no hard evidence of what this woman is accusing him of. Yeah. On a, and there's on a contrary, there's countless amounts of evidence that shows he's not the asshole in dick that she was making him out to be yet he still has no work right now yeah. you know now you're going to take somebody look at somebody like james gunn who is been doing a hell of a job for disney making him a lot of money okay and, and he loves his fans the fans love him i'm a huge fan of james gunn despite guardians of the galaxy 2 not being great i'm a huge fan of james gunn and they're not going to give him a second yeah. chance the, the despite the fact that he gave himself a second chance and he's been doing a hell of a job since to me, you know who looks bad in this is Disney, not James Gunn. And that's the problem with this world right now. That's what's going on in this country. Because they're so quick to just say, you fucked up, you're done, you're gone. Yeah. Instead of saying, you know what, we understand you screwed up. 
we see that you've cleaned up your act. We're gonna give you a second. We're gonna give you a second chance. So next time this happens, or you're done. Let's stand up together on this podium and say, "Look, we're gonna work together. And make sure it doesn't happen yeah. again." And then we're release Guardians Three. What? And then release Guardians Three. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, like uh, I, I, I couldn't care less about Guardians Three. Like, I'm worried about this guy's job and his likelihood, livelihood. Like, you know, like he deserves hmm. to have a second chance. Everybody deserves to have a second chance. You know, even, and uh, yeah, people are going to get mad at me. Even Kevin Spacey, if he can fucking clean up his act, if he can clean up yeah. his act, he deserves a second chance in the future. But he has to clean up his act. But will he? Exactly, but will <laughs> he? And that's and that's what I think is wrong. And that's what I'm getting so sick of this country about is just this stupid shit where it's just, you know what? You fucked up one time, you're done. You you don't get another shot. You, you're done yeah. for life. Or and, Or we have no evidence to support what's being claimed. Fuck it, you're fired. Yeah, exactly. You're out, you're gonna be out of a job for 15 years. It's just it's annoying. I feel bad for James Gunn. Again, I'm not sitting here saying I condone or agree with the shit that he was say- saying. I mean, I didn't even laugh, and I'm a I have a pretty screwed up mind, and I didn't laugh at any of these tweets. Uh-huh. I I was just like, really, this is. Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna weigh in. But I I mean I sit there and like whatever. I mean it's. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. It's Granted, disgusting. I, I don't know what the tweets were. Yeah. But. So I'm just gonna like look. I don't condone it, but he hasn't done it since, and yeah, and it's he's been good in the public since since taking over Guardian and, and working at Disney. He's been yeah. good in the public eye, and you can't say that Disney didn't know about these. Yeah, exactly. You know, you know they vet everybody that they hire for this exactly. shit. Exactly. You know, it's Disney, and they probably thought it was buried further, far enough for them to be like, yeah, exactly. So they're trying to cover their ass and screwing somebody's life up instead of saying, you know what? Yeah, we we vetted. We thought it was gone for good, but we've had a discussion with him and it's fixed. It's just ridiculous. I'm comes, sorry. Comes back, makes the modern day 20, 2001 Space Odyssey, the Space Odyssey, in 2018. Well, not like the same exact movie, this, but the same caliber type movie. This is what I say. You know what? You fucking know what? You know what? No. You know what? No. Do, do you know what? No. James Gunn for Martian Manhunter. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I'll, 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 hold on, I'll make a petition. <laughs> I, I Honestly, I mean, there's a petition going up right now to get him back into Marvel and do Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Will they bite and, and listen to the fans? Probably not. Uh, does that mean that people... And this is what I say. I, I think people need to put their, their mouth where their, you know, where their money where, where their mouth is. They They're, need to put their mouth where their cock is. They need to put their money where their mouth is in this aspect because... They're not going to hire James Gunn back. They're going to hire somebody else for Guardians of the Galaxy 3, okay? Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is going to come out, and it's still going to make $800 million. No, it shouldn't. These fans that are saying, look, it's wrong that you fired James Gunn. We don't, we don't think you should have fired him. Don't go see the freaking movie. Don't go see it. Yeah, but you know it's not going to happen. It's not, and it's so ridiculous because you know people just they get they get upset because a movie like take a look at Star Wars a movie didn't go the way they like so they don't, they don't go see the next one. You know, like where like what's the standard? You know, like you don't okay the first the the last the last Jedi wasn't a great movie so you didn't like it so you're not going to go see Solo which has nothing to do with the last Jedi yeah and at screw all. and screw like, up that 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 possible you know film series of Solo movies that we could get yeah. Whereas Which Guardians of the Galaxy Two was ass, and but your we director went and saw it five times. Your director that you really want is probably not going to do it, but you're still going to go give them their money for eight hundred million dollars. Like it, yeah. it makes no sense, you know. Double standards, man, babies, and hypocrisy. It just angers me. It just angers me. I, I just I don't know. I I, I really want to see and hear more from James Gunn on this whole thing and what his plans are like because I really think that a company like Warner Brothers needs to grab him up I do I think comes they need... does a fucking Martian Manhunter movie I, I, I jizz all over my own face I, I and... truly believe that like if, if Warner Brothers was was smart at this point in time they reach out to James Gunn and say look I know you're going through all this stuff we you got a what? job we got a job for you what property do you want it's yours yeah, you know, it can't little... be Batman. It can't be you know the ones that have directors yeah. now. Can't be the ones that have directors now. But pick another property and it's yours. Martian Manhunter. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, I, I mean, it's just turning your first edges. Why not? I just I, I don't know. I don't know why Martian Manhunter wasn't in fucking Justice League. That's why the movie sucked. <laughs> okay. Martian, Martian Manhunter wasn't there. Okay. So what do you want to go to next? Uh, we'll go to other. Let's go to other. other. It chapter two has a release date. Yay! September six, twenty nineteen. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> More than a year away. Shit! 
I was really excited that I saw the date, and I was like, fuck! I think they just started filming, so you Yeah, gotta... I know, but it could have been over by now. You never know. Uh, if only. Ah, damn big business not working like that. Uh, Annabelle 3 was announced. Yay! Uh, ha- I mean, I kind of saw that one. Halloween. Uh, I guess they, there was a panel, and they talked about how the original idea for this film of Halloween did originally incorporate all of the sequels, mm-hmm. but they then... Retconned everything. Went back to yeah, what they're doing now, which is good, because Halloween H two O was pretty bad. I don't know if you saw this. Uh, Alita Battle Angel has a new trailer. No, I haven't. Yeah, I, I'm kind of worried. Like, I want to really want to see this movie. Yeah. I want to want to see it, and like, I it's, just it looks good. It like, looks all right. It's got a damn good cast: Mahershala Ali, uh, the dude from that's in all the like the um, oh, what's his name? Damn it, I'm terrible with names today. Um, John Krasinski. No, it's the dude from, uh, he was in Inglorious Bastards. He was the main bad guy in there. Um, not Hitler. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say Brad Pitt, but. No, no, the nah. main bad guy. Uh, um, oh, I'm awful with just, names. I can see the face right now. Yeah. Any, anyway, how many you, <laughs> while you look that up, I'll talk to the audience. No, but. I got, oh, wow. uh, no, Alita, I think, looks fantastic. Like, I cannot wait um, to gonna, see it, but. It's going to be one of those movies we're not going to see, like, opening weekend. It's going to be, like, the weekend after. I just, I I, I don't want to see it as much as I thought I would want to see it. That's my problem. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Christoph Waltz, that's his name. But, yeah, that I mean. sounds like a German on, name. Christoph Waltz, Jennifer Connelly, Ed Screen, uh, Mahershala Ali, Jackie Earl Haley. I mean, this cast is fucking phenomenal. And I just, I sit there, and I'm just like. Uh, like it looks great i can't wait to see it but it's just it hasn't gotten your uh, attention yet so i think the biggest problem is some of the cgi just looks bad not bad it just looks it doesn't look real enough yeah you know when you're on for a movie like that you need it to be real yeah well realistic hyper realistic so i don't know i mean i'll probably see but yeah new trailer was after that give it a shot check it out uh, there was a little take on Deadpool Super Duper Cut. Uh, supposedly, there Yay. might be a new Easter egg uh, <gasps> with Wolverine or Wolverine-esque. Uh, whether he's going to be in it or not, there's something in there. The post-credits. <laughs> um, boop, 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 boop. Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grindelwald. Grindelwald, uh, the trailer, looks fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see the first Beasts. one. Um, no, it looked excellent. I, I can't wait to see. I love the first one. I hate that I, I waited like a year and a half to see the first one. That's my problem. I did not like any of the Harry Potter films. I think you really I think I you like, would really like them. At all. You read the books, though, didn't you? Yeah, I've read the books. I like the books. I watched the first movie and was like, nope. Watch can't. Fantastic Beasts. I bet you'll like it. And then I'll be like, fuck, I gotta watch all these fucking Harry Potter films. <laughs> don't worry about the films. They, they, you don't need to watch the films to watch this. Watch Fantastic Beasts. You'll love it. Um, and then the second one looks awesome, I think. I think it does. Oh, well, I mean, what? I got. I'm gonna have free time. I'm sure I'll watch it. Uh, what's that? Venom. So Venom. There was some footage shown at Comic Con. <gasps> uh, they announced officially it is not part of the MCU. Surprise. Venom. Yeah. Like I wasn't saying that from the beginning. Uh, Venom will not have the spider logo on his chest as is normally seen. The reason being is because the symbiote. The reason why there is the spider logo on Venom is because the symbiote originally. Um, well, it was on Spider-Man. It was on Spider-Man, on Peter Parker, and took on the spider thingy. You know, yeah, the, the... He's the spider. Yeah. So whenever he went on to Eddie Brock in the comics, he kept that the part spider, of the, yeah, yeah. the spider part of him, the, the symbiote did. Uh, or as the movie likes to call it, symbiote. It's symbiote, but... Uh, By AIDS. <laughs> AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they did say, like, he's not going to be using webbing. It's going to be, like, this weird, like... Technical like, thing? Y- like... Stuff that, I don't like know, the thing from the darkness video game maybe it's not. like a tentacle I don't know. there's supposedly a comic book story arc of venom where this it's like this where he doesn't mm. never gets a bat he, against spider-man yeah yeah so uh i don't know uh lead villain has been confirmed to be riot so yay that's in there played by the dude that was in rogue one what the hell's his name uh your boy Riz, Riz Ahmed, i think is his I- name but um, did you see where we could see another symbiote? Yeah. Well, see, in the comics, the main symbiote uh, is kind of breaks off, and he it's like, yeah, he has does like, a children kind of thing, and there's multiple quote, unquote. symbiotes, and Riot is actually one of them. Mm. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Get Carnage. That's different symbiote, actually. Yeah, it's not the it not the same. 
Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I still think we're going to see Carnage, but I don't yeah. think it's going to be. Post credit scene for a film we'll never get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. The last two stories that I have for other um, pick A or B. C. A or B. D. A or B. B. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Fuck, yeah, God, I'm I'm hyped for this movie. Trailer looked fucking amazing. The fucking Godzilla fighting some fucking shit. Yeah, yeah, like, the like three headed. I forget what the three headed monsters. Shit ton of monsters. He's fighting in this thing. Isn't it supposed to be a cinematic universe? Yes, because uh, you had the first Godzilla. You have Kong Skull Island. Mm. You have Godzilla, King of All Monsters, and then you're gonna have Godzilla vs King Kong. Yeah, so that's gonna be four movies in this universe so far. Then they can branch off and do the other monsters he's supposed to fight. Maybe, maybe I, I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. it looks badass. Like, so. just supposedly this roars. supposedly Godzilla is going to be like a hundred feet taller than he was in the last movie. Also, so I don't know if he just continues to grow. <laughs> just or roids. What? He just went <laughs> underwater and just starts shooting up. <laughs> That's why he could breathe like fire. There was, a, there, there was a rumor a long time ago that they were gonna they were considering crossing over the Godzilla universe with Pacific Rim even. I could get behind that. But I don't. I think that's a long gone idea. I could still get behind that though. I like the Pacific Rim universe. I still haven't seen the second one. But the first one's amazing. The second one's they they use like weird genetic stuff. I mean, I like how they perf- about introduce genetics into the film. Sorry, I'm probably making a lot of background noise. Um, but they put genetics into it, and they make like microbots that fuse three kaiju, and it's like. Whoa, okay. But I like that, but then Charlie Day's Charlie Day in the movie, and it's crazy. Yeah. All right. It was lackluster. The final other glass. We got a trailer for Shmem Night... Uh, 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 Shmem Night Shmem- Mamelon. <laughs> Shmem Night Mamelon. Uh, M. Night Shyamalan's next film, the sequel. Fuck, man. And, uh, I mean, I guess it's kind of a sequel to... Uh, Split, not so much Unbreakable, but it is a yeah. sequel to Unbreakable, so... It's a I, fucking <laughs> clusterfuck of a universe. Because Split wasn't a, a sequel to Unbreakable, so it, it's weird. But Split and Unbreakable take pl- <laughs> take place at the same time. And not really. No, it, it's years later. It's years later. It's year- You didn't see Split, so you don't know. But uh, it, I, I, I can't. I no, but I did recently on, <laughs> rewatch Unbreakable. <laughs> Unbreakable's so good. <laughs> I'm like, man, I need to watch I mean, The Split. great thing about Unbreakable is it was... A superhero movie that was before all of the other superhero movies, you know, like that, like yeah, it was like its own thing. Yeah, I don't know why uh, I almost threw and, a fuck in there for some reason. And it was like it, it was self aware too, yeah, which was kind of cool. So uh, this one looks excellent. I'm just worried about the the reveal or the twist that M Night's going to throw in there because that that's what makes or break his film. Some make or breaks his film sometimes. Like you and take most a look, of the time, it's break. Yeah, I mean, you take a look. Okay, so let's see the ones I really enjoyed. Uh, Six Sense loved it. Thought it was great. Uh, Spoiler: I'm, Bruce Willis was dead at the end. of Unfortunately, Sixth Sense. I knew the the um, reveal before I saw the movie, but it was still good. I enjoyed it. Signs: I really enjoyed the movie, but the reveal was kind of meh. You know, oh, aliens yeah. could be hurt by water, and they're coming to a planet that is seventy percent water. Yeah, like bad thinking on your end, <laughs> aliens. <laughs> You're not so fucking smart. <laughs> Village, dumb as fuck. The 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 dumbest fucking movie ever. The Village. Come on. I'd rank it. Come I'd rank on. it in the top five. Come on. That movie was horrible. I liked it. Horrible. I liked it. Happening. Stupid. Yeah, no, that one was fucking dumb. Stupid. <laughs> that one was dumb. I didn't see Lady in the Water. Uh, uh, a spoiler alert. It wasn't water. It was fucking jello. <laughs> um, <laughs> twist. <laughs> what a twist. What a twist. Uh, what else was There's there? a robot chicken uh, little Easter egg there from us. Um... What else was there? I'm just thinking on top of my head. Oh, the visit. I didn't see that. How was that? Uh, you want me to spoil it? I don't care. Spoiler alert. Um, the grandparents in the film aren't their real grandparents. They're people from the psychiatric ward that killed their actual grandparents. And oh. just kind of. I mean, I didn't. Is I... there any reason to think that in the movie? A little bit. Okay. 
Because, like, for instance, The Village. This is why I hate The Village so much. Because they make this whole twist and reveal, like, oh, it takes place in modern day. <gasps> Bar God! There was not a single fucking thing to make you even consider thinking about that. So to yeah. me, that's just a slap in the face to the viewer. That's not a twist. Yeah. Like, a good twist is where they like you subtly hint over. you. <laughs> yeah, like, they subtly hint to you things throughout the movie. Like, you take a look at, at The Sixth Sense. You know, there are multiple times where if you if you pick up on it, you're like, there's something weird here. You know, like the whole time, like the one meeting that he has with with uh, the, the kid mm-hmm. and the mother comes in and he's having a conversation with the mother, but the mother's not talking to him. You know, like that's something yeah. like if you were to pick up on that, you would then, know. Then you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. I mean, they kind of are like, well, the grandparents kind of like volunteered at the psychiatric ward. Mm. And that's about all you get from it. And this lady shows up and they kill the lady and yeah. it's crazy. Getting off and it needs clean. Uh, yeah. But then, uh, you know, Unbreakable, fantastic movie. Yeah, uh, Split. Yeah. Split was one of these movies I watched it, and there were moments in the movie I'm like, okay, I'm going to figure it out, I'm going to figure it out, I'm going to figure it out. And then you, know? you don't. But it, w- it, was, it wasn't a twist, it was a reveal. You know, he does both. He does twists and reveals. And this was a reveal movie, and, you know, I, I, like you're watching a movie, and you're like, man, this, this was pretty good. Like, it was crazy, it was intense, it was different, it was interesting. Mm-hmm. And then you have that reveal at the very end of the movie. And, and it starts, like, if, if you know anything, if you've watched Unbreakable, there's a moment where James McAvoy character, he's kind of on the run, and he's in this little building, and music starts playing in the background. And it's music from Unbreakable. Mm-hmm. And it starts playing, and then it cuts to a scene in in a diner, and you know the whole news story of what James McAvoy, his character, did on, is on the TV. And there's a couple girls at the counter, like, "Oh, yeah, I just think it's fake. Yeah, I don't think it's real. Something like that." Yeah. And uh, you know, it cuts and it pans back, and Bruce Willis is sitting right there, and he's the dude for yeah, you know, he's his character yeah. from Unbreakable, and you're just like, "Holy crap!" <laughs> yeah. So. Me, hi, me, me. Uh, it was definitely excellent. So, Glass, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, I, no, I, I, the trailer looked really goddamn good. Yeah. Uh, I love the, the use of colors that he's yeah. doing with this movie. You know, I, I can't wait. It's either going to be really good or really fucking bad. Yeah, but I'm going to give it a shot either way, so. Yeah. Uh, that's, so, that's, I, uh, well, that's it for others in movie side, other in t- TV side. Other in tits. No, nice. uh, Voltron seventh and final season trailer. I never watched Voltron, so neither did I. I just I didn't know if you did or not. Too, too bad a, Donald isn't here. Yeah, he'd be freaking out like oh, Voltron. <laughs> uh, there was a sneak peek at the Kim Possible live action show. I I didn't know there was a live action show coming. Yeah, yeah, it looks kind of stupid. I mean, it's what all cartoons are doing now. So, uh, but it's gonna be a show. It's not even gonna be a movie. It's a live action show. So. Ah, well, bring the cancer on. Doctor Who released a trailer um, and with a very peculiar sonic screwdriver. And I say that because it looks like a woman's pleasuring device. Dildo! <laughs> yeah! More like a vibrator, but yeah. It, you you beat me too, because I was going to say dildo. Yeah, it, it, it totally... It's a vibrator. Totally <laughs> looks like a vibrator. Like, totally. <laughs> Like, I don't know how Doctor Who works, but I'm sure that's going to end up in your cooter at some point in time. That's not really how it works, man. <laughs> Just put that screwdriver <laughs> up here. It sets it off, and it does whatever and the fuck it does. I honestly wouldn't have said anything if I didn't see my Facebook blowing up about it today. Like, they're, like it, it was blowing up about it. <laughs> it's a dildo. <laughs> so. Replaces a vibrator. It's just a big old dong. Uh, let's see. The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead is going to die in two Dan, seasons. Dan Fogler or Fogler has been cast for season nine, and you also see him in the trailer. Uh, Dan Fogler, you will know him. He is he was in Fantastic Beasts, um, and he'll be in the sequel, Fantastic Beasts: uh, Crimes of Grindelwald. Um, They'll be in your dad's ass. He's I like him as an actor. I think he's a really good actor. Mm-hmm. He actually has a podcast I enjoy listening to from time to time. He's a really cool guy. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what he, mm-hmm. what his role is on the show. Uh, the He's cast, gonna be a zombie. Yeah, the cast officially talked about, or some of the cast has kind of talked about uh, um, Andrew Lincoln leaving the show. You How know, they're all going to be films. soon unemployed. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Uh, so, you know, it is official that he is, because prior to that, it wasn't official. It was just yeah. kind of like, hey, it's... I think he talked about it on the panel, too. Yeah, he talked about it. So yeah. he, he himself and he, he said, said his He said, you know, his biggest regret is that that spoiler came out. Like, you know, he's, yeah. he's kind of like, I wish it wouldn't have been spoiled. Um but yeah, yeah kind of just watch them die, and then that's yeah. it. And I just think it'd be just... funny if they just 
I, I hope he doesn't die because he didn't say he's going to die. I don't think they should kill him off. I don't think they should. Just and I don't think they off. will. I don't think they will kill him off. If they kill him off, the show dies with him. Um, but Get, if he's alive and there's a chance that he can just pop up occasionally, mm-hmm. I think I think the show will actually last a long, little longer. Get, with that. Gets on his horse and rides off into Fear the Walking Dead. <laughs> I'm uh, calling it. He's going to make appearance there. All right. Well, with that, I guess we're going to jump to the final thing that we want to talk about. <sighs> Penis. Yep, I like penis. <laughs> it's about time you come out. JK, LOL. Sorry, Nicole. Oh, it's a... <laughs> so on the DC you side of things, goodbye. we uh, got a good bit of news, and I'm going to kind of jump around here. First off, the Joker movie. Joaquin Phoenix's film is titled Joker, just simply Joker. Uh, it is going to be released on October 4th, 2019. <gasps> they are looking at... Robert De Niro to He's be in the movie. confirmed to be in it. Is it confirmed? Yeah, it's been confirmed. Okay, so Robert De Niro looks to be in the movie, and Zazie Beetz from the Deadpool movie, who played Domino, is in talks to be in the movie as well. That's a fucking name. <laughs> it is. Yeah, so <laughs> that's what's going on with the Joker movie. Again, it's going to be directed by Todd Phillips, and I believe um, produced by Martin Scorsese. So it should be very interesting to see how this goes. I'm not. It's gonna be all over the place. I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna watch it. I'm not a big fan of this idea, but I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna give him my money. So Mm -hmm. you filthy little fucking pit slut, (laughs) give him your money. Uh, there's gonna be a new Batman animated film. Excuse me. Uh, It's going to be based off of the comic Batman Hush. I'm interested because I like that. I like that series. So it'll be interesting to see if they can get that right. Yeah. Um, I don't think they did the Killing Joke very well. Then again, I think the Killing Joke is an overrated story. Yeah, um, it, it kind of is. But we'll see. I think the Killing Joke got so popular because Mark Hamill and Kevin Conroy talked about it because yeah. they kept it. Oh, if we're ever going to do anima- the animated voices again, it's only going to be for that. You yeah, know? And, and everybody was like, like Mark Hamill. Yeah. So we got to watch it. Uh, Green Lantern Corps. Jeff John spoke about his upcoming film, stating he is planning on reimagining and reinventing the franchise, but he will also be taking uh, cues from his Green Lantern comic run. So remember, Jeff Johns is writing mm-hmm. pr- and I believe producing, or going to be a producer on Green Lantern Corps movie. Uh, there was no official statement. This was kind of that a booth, I believe. Somebody was talking yeah. to him, and he just kind of mm-hmm. said that. Yeah, it's some uh, bullshit. Yeah. Uh, Wonder Woman 84. There was a scene shown at the panel which saw Wonder Woman in a mall naked. during the 1980s naked. and no saving bush. people. Supposedly, according to Patty Jenkins and company, this isn't a sequel, but a continuation of what they did with the first film. Which, it's kind of a sequel, right? <laughs> By definition. <laughs> it's a sequel. I don't know. Uh, what, there whatever. was a small peek at Kristen Wiig's Cheetah, supposedly. Again, I did not see this footage. It was not released online. so <laughs> It's, it's we, from an elementary school like carnival thing. We see a small peek at Kristen Wiig's pussy, or Cheetah. Uh, <laughs> nice! <laughs> um, it just did and then me. A, a little side note. Chris Pine is playing coy about his role in the upcoming movie. And the reason why I say he, that... He's playing coy? I thought he was, he was playing... Steve Trevor? Yeah. Um, he fuck? made an interesting comment at the panel where he was like, I'm not even here, you yeah. know? And uh, I, I think it's kind of like a nod or not a nod, but a hint to like, he's, he's not, a, re- he's in the movie, but he's, he's not really he's, in the movie. He's dead. Yeah. I mean, he is dead. He's rest so. in spaghetti. So we'll see. I mean, that's kind of the biggest question and the most interesting aspect of this upcoming sequel is. Uh, no, continuation <laughs> from Wonder Woman. Calm uh, down. Is why Chris Pine is there because he yeah. went out in a blaze of glory and. But did he? But did he? Or didn't he? Or did he have plot armor on? Uh, sometimes that shit's thick, yeah. Mm. Which one do you want to talk about? Because I know that look. Aquaman. Okay, the one I really want to talk about. Costumes are on display, and there was a new poster. So when people got to Comic-Con, they got to see the costumes on display. They got to see the new poster hanging up. Someone uh, stole the poster. Then say it a day. What about say it a day? Say it a day, they showed the first trailer for Aquaman. Yeah, when we were supposed to be doing work. Um, and uh, my boner went from boner to ultra boner. It's like Super Saiyan 4 boner. But not Super Saiyan 5 better. So, yeah, I, I, 
I think it looks amazing. I think it looks beautiful. I think it looks fun. It looks a whole lot more polished than I thought it would. I have a lot of concerns with it still. I'm still really concerned with this movie. I am. Wow. Uh, the CGI didn't look great. Uh, there I was mean, a, it comes out in December. <laughs> doesn't matter. I mean, they've been working on this film for a year. And it comes out in it, December. And have you ever seen my work? I, I, I work on it a lot, and then I throw it all together at the end. I, I don't know. Um, this again, and it wasn't stuff like. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? Howdy there, partner. I'm in the market for one of them new internet radio show T-shirts. I hear so much about on them applications. T-shirt, you say? Yeah. One that'll catch the eye of my lovely lady friend. You know what? I think I may have something right up your alley. No, oh, do tell. You see, we have this awesome Hanes tagless tee with the slick logo of Nerd Talk Clips Podcast Network on the front with all the awesome shows listed on the back. Nerd Talk Clips Podcast, Fandom Vibe, and even Bridging the Geekdoms. Well, I'll be a horse's patoot. That's right. And you can get that all for the low cost of $17.99 at teespring.com, as well as coffee mugs, stickers, tank tops, and hoodies. I'm going to have to get me one of them stickers for the back of my pick up truck <laughs> that's excellent man just log into teespring.com slash shop slash nerdtocalypse network and order yours today yeah but wait why did i walk into a store if you're gonna send me to a website it wasn't the cgi like of the fish and stuff i expect that to be kind of meh you know yeah, like, not cause, great cause. Uh, but there was a scene where like it looks like it's in the middle of a battle where uh king or and 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 um yeah, boy. And Aquaman are fighting, and it's like in a in a battle, and like a ring type of thing. Yeah, the, the Coliseum fire. or whatever. The, the fire. And like, there's an explosion, and the fans go, ah, oh! and then they go, yeah, and they all scream, dude. That looks so bad. Like, watch it again. Watch that. Not a single one of those fans in that in that are real life people. It is complete CGI, and it it is so. Once you know, it's gonna ruin your day. I'm telling mm-hmm. you. Oh, I'm I'm fully invested in Black Manta. So. Uh, Black Manta looks fantastic. Like that's that's my biggest thing with this whole trailer. Like I said, uh, this movie. I mean, the look, the feel, with mm-hmm. the exception of some of the CGI moments, looks amazing. Looks amazing. And, and the fact of how comic book true Black Manta is is unreal. Yeah, I mean, he, like, he's Black Manta. I like mean, that's Black unreal. <laughs> uh, Mira looks fucking hot, dude. I thought she was hot in Justice League. Damn, she's hot yeah. now. Um, You'll get to see more of her too. Yeah, uh, I I can't wait to see you know uh, what Amber Heard can bring to the character. I'm excited mm. to see that. We saw a little snippet of Nicole Kidman, uh, not much though. There's a little bit of her. So I, I'm excited. You know, little kid, little kid Aquaman, little Arthur. Uh, you know, he was before he you know bulked up and got a ton of tattoos. Yeah, before he was uh, you know Jason Momoa. Uh, before he was uh, fucking what's her face in Game of Thrones. <laughs> Uh, but uh, he was kind of weird looking. But it's interesting because, you know, you're, we're seeing all these things on Facebook now and how they've – each one of these movies has had a little kid version of the, the hero. Respected, like we've yeah. had a little kid version for every single one so far. I think that's something they should keep oh, going wait, no, with. Yeah. Like they should definitely keep yeah. the trend going so we can see the little kid. Like I, I don't know. I just think that's brilliant. Yeah. I think it's brilliant. I was almost like Wonder Woman, but then – I forgot like the whole beginning the whole of, of the first movie. twenty five thirty minutes of the movie. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, and I was like, oh wait, yep, no, we did. Oh, yeah. yeah, totally happened. The only one that people don't show a picture of, like they have, like you know, they have Bruce, like baby Bruce, and then you know Batman. They have mm. baby Clark, and then Superman. They have baby Diana, and then Wonder Woman. They have little Arthur, and then big Arthur. But they don't show Billy Batson, and then Shazam. Like mm. it's the same thing. Like why not do it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Could you do it though? Yeah, he's essentially the same person. <laughs> uh, anything else on Aquaman? No, I just I praise Black Panther. Black Panther. Yeah, Black Panther. Y- you know, a lot of people are comparing, like, oh, this is going to be the same story as Black Panther. Where's your black guy? Where's more than one black guy? <laughs> well, what they're saying is it's going to be the same story. It's just where the good guy is essentially like where Killmonger is essentially the good guy in Aquaman. So. Aquaman is Killmonger is basically Killmonger is what they're saying. But that's Aquaman's storyline. Uh, exactly. I mean, they're, they're <laughs> like, doing Aquaman's story where you know he comes back to take his rightful place on the throne. You know, in Atlantis, because he is the rightful king and of Atlantis. Of Atlantis, and I mean, it, yeah, there's Black Panther. Yeah, exactly. And where Black Panther wasn't trying to start a war with the rest of the world, where King Orm is trying to start a war with the rest of the world. So it's yeah. kind of like. 
Black Panther didn't show up to the end of <laughs> Infinity War, but we're not gonna we're not gonna say anything about that. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. <laughs> All right. Aquaman was there when you know. Uh, to probably my most anticipated events of the DC Warner wait, Brothers wait, panel. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to lead you into it, okay? Okay. Shazam! Ah! There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh, the Joker movie. <laughs> no, Shazam. <laughs> so, Shazam, again, just like Aquaman, the costumes were on display. Uh, we also got this week Entertainment Weekly photos. There was a issue released or is about to be released for... Uh, that shows a whole bunch of different photos from or from Aquaman from Shazam, <laughs> well, yeah. uh, and then we had the trailer. Yeah, <laughs> dude, fun, energetic, exciting. Those are just a few words that come to mind with this thing, dude. The fact that like the transformation looked that good. Yeah, like, and it probably just start, stopped filming. <laughs> yeah, and I mean they're not done with the special effects and everything yeah. like that. Like, I I expect a lot more to get cleaned up with this. I mean, yeah. this is this is essentially what. 12 or no not 12 months like nine months out yeah you know where whereas aquaman's five months out you know you can touch all that shit up in a so, month but i i can't i can't freaking wait for this movie like zachary like, levi uh, phenomenal yeah no that like, was like that that yeah i got my interest I, i'll I, say that i can't believe how how great he was in the part of Sh- uh, shazam you know just having that billy like that kiddish vibe as, yeah. as, you know so he's billy batson yet he's shazam you know like he still has that uh, amazing you know it, it, there's a lot of people talking about it and before everything at comic con they're like you know kind of think of it as big the movie big but with superheroes and now i don't and, know if you've ever seen the movie big yeah. i love that movie i love that movie growing up I, the trailer feels like big. Yeah, it's essentially that. Like it truly yeah. does, you know. I mean, I love the part where he, you know, <laughs> after he becomes Shazam and he puts the thing up on the window and says, "Please don't scream!" And his friend goes, "Ah!" And he's, still screaming. he's like, "Stop!" <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's me, it's Billy. But uh, yeah, I love it. I think it's great. A little Easter egg, you know, his friend, the one mm-hmm. who you know is is he's living with. Um, he's a cripple. Yeah, he's a cripple. He's using a video camera to mm-hmm. video all this. How much you want to bet he is the guy that videotaped Superman at the beginning of Justice League? If that all was still canon, probably. It is still canon. It's all still canon. Not yet. Uh, uh, Shazam Shazam makes it so. I mean, all of the, the knickknacks and the, the Easter Tiny eggs. Tiny wax and give a dog a bone. <laughs> In in the in his room, you know, he yeah. had the article about Superman coming back to life. He has uh, a, a I think he has a batarang. A batarang. He was wearing an Aquaman t shirt. He was That's wearing it. a Wonder Woman t shirt at one point. Uh, he was wearing her armor. No titties. Uh, I mean he like he's completely obsessed with it and the fact that they're showing things that we've seen in other movies states that all of that is You forgot fact to talk truth. about one thing about DC. What? D C E U is a new name. I'm not done with oh, that. that I, well, I, th- I thought we were just stopping with Shazam. My bad. Yeah, we're still more... I will shut the fuck up. And actually, you're wrong. DCEU name does not have... It does not have a new name that was unofficially announced because Whatever. that was not what they want. Um, so I'm done with Shazam, though. But even though... It, just real quickly, Shazam looks amazing. I think it looks better than Aquaman. I can't wait to see it. Okay. So there was confusion about the DCEU. For the longest time, people were like, calling the DC Cinematic Universe the DCEU, DC Extended Universe, mm. or Expanded Universe. Extended, yeah. I think. But that's what people have been calling it. Mm. Uh, it's That's been unofficial. Warner Brothers nor DC has ever, ever come out and said this is the name of our, our universe or anything like that. There was a... Um, a banner. Not a banner. It wasn't a banner. It was like a, a screen, a video there screen you. that was running uh, around the, the Comic-Con. And it played a message like, you know, Shazam, Aquaman, blah, 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 blah. Wonder Woman. Welcome to the worlds of DC. Mm-hmm. All right. So people were like, oh, that's the name of their universe, the worlds of DC. I think it's kind of cool, but I wasn't completely sold on it. I prefer the DCEU. Actually, I would prefer something better than DCEU, and I don't think the worlds of DC are better. Uh, but then it, people started running with this story that that was the name of their cinematic universe. Uh, it has since then been... It, it was never said at, yeah. at, at a panel. It wasn't said during their Hall H events, Warner Brothers Hall H event. It wasn't said at anything. So it was just a bunch of people that were like, hey, I think that's what that means. And it doesn't. So they still don't have a name. They still don't have a name. All right. It's going to jump to the TV side of DC. I, I shook my head condescendingly in that long break. 
The DC Universe app pricing will be $7.99 a month or $74.99 a year. So you save five bucks mm. if you get it for a year. If you would have pre-ordered it this weekend, so if you would have pre-ordered it during Comic-Con, you would have been entered in to win tickets to the premiere of Aquaman, the world premiere of Aquaman, as well as three free months of... That would have been cool. The app. So uh, I, d- $7.99 isn't bad. I'm definitely going to get it. Um, I'll probably spend the 75 bucks to get it for a year anyways because I think that'll just be easier. I wish Netflix would let me do that. but Yeah, that would be so much easier. Yeah. Uh, so... Looking forward to that. Uh, on top of getting that information, we got our first look at Titans. We got a trailer. Fuck Batman. Dark and gritty. Like, really fucking gritty. Uh, Starfire, though, looks horrendous. She looked better than she did in the promo stuff, but she's not... You mean the unofficial on-set photos? Yeah. yeah th- those were bad. Those were. She looks better than that, but not by much. Uh, she still looks bad and Beast Boy is uh, not really too much better either. Unfortunately, the chick who plays Starfire had to disable her Instagram account because she was getting harassed. What the fuck is wrong with people? Like I get it. Fucking retards. Like, people we need to just deal. chill the F out. Like, okay, you cannot like something and, and not and ruin not be a retard life. about it. Like Exactly. Like, I'm still gonna give it a shot. Like what we saw in the trailer looked bad. The show isn't out yet. We don't know what her real look is going to be. You know, so just chill the F out. Like, it could be cool. It could be bad. Don't yeah. ruin somebody's life and make them have to leave social media or anything. Yeah, that's like that. what, just... two people in the past eight months? Yeah, it, it's ridiculous. That we know of. It, that's just, it's getting ridiculous. Uh, so, the show does look interesting. Uh, I'm still unsure how it's going to do with the wide audience, though. I mean, if you think about it, the film universe is dark and gritty and people mm-hmm. are rejecting that so the fact that this is dark and gritty it's like eh. why would you go down that route whenever you're having so much trouble with your cinematic universe i i don't know um it might be too grown up for kids the ability to garner a huge following especially with kids i mean if you think about it teen titans go or teen titans you know it's huge it's yeah. huge kids love that movie the that, fact that, that, that it that has show. 100 percent on rotten tomatoes and, and, well the movie's coming out but p- kids love the show you know they love teen titans go and all that stuff so they're, it's going to ha- come out with a movie kids are going to love that movie and in a few months there's going to be a show called titans on a dc streaming service there's going to be kids who are smart enough to go hey i want that that's going to be like teen titans but not teen anymore they're actually tight and they're older and they're gonna watch and they're gonna hear robin go fuck batman Batman. fuck batman and then some parent is gonna be like what is this and then the parent's gonna get upset and then there's gonna be a whole outcry just like what happened with deadpool when the first deadpool came out could be that or it could be like the walking dead where parents just let their kids watch it anyway and then freak out when something happens true uh, but it's interesting. Fuck Batman. You know, he hates Nightwing. Well, Nightwing or Robin. He's not Nightwing yet, yeah. I don't think. Do you think uh, we'll see him turn into Nightwing in the film? Or I, in the film, in the series? I think we do, yeah. A- if it goes on long enough. Yeah, I think we I think we do see him. I think this season we see him turn into Nightwing. I think we're going to see his transition into Nightwing. I think that's kind of what... Tits. I think that's going to be his story arc. I think the overall story arc, actually, uh, is going to be taken somewhat from the Teen Titans vs. Justice League or Justice League vs. Teen Titans movie. Mm. Uh, the story of that film focused on Raven and her connection with her demon father, Trigon. Yeah, I definitely got a vibe from that. So there's a lot. The, the trailer was heavy on Raven and mm. her, you know. So do you think we'll see a TV Justice League? No, I mean, we kind of well, not... have it in the CW universe. Yeah. Uh, but will but they no. connect the two? No, I don't think they will. Uh, but I, I, again, I'm interested. I, I am interested to see what this is going to be. Um, I can't wait to, to check it out. So. I'll give it a shot. I mean, if I can find it. Yeah. Uh, Star Girl is getting her own show on the DC Universe app. Woo! So proud of you. All right, CW verse <gasps> Flash. The continuation of the story that brought Barry and Iris's young adult daughter to their time is continued in this coming season. Oh, and Barry gets his ring. Now, the cool thing about the ring, Colton, because you're probably like, what the fuck's he talking about? A ring. Yeah. Cool yeah. thing about the ring. Uh, Barry Allen in the comics okay, gets married. No. Yes, but <laughs> <laughs> ah, I fucking stumped but, you. But this ring, okay, what it does is it actually holds his suit in the ring. So whenever uh, it, so, conventional, exactly. So he, you know, he can pull out his suit out of the ring and, it, and get, you know, he gets in yeah. there because he's by super s- fast by some wonky shit. Yeah, who knows? Comic book. So <laughs> it doesn't even take off his other clothes. Yeah, like, it, it, it'll fit fine. Comic book. So we saw it in season one, I believe, with Reverse Flash. Reverse Flash had a ring, and he mm. did it at one point. 
And I've been like, where's his ring? Like for yeah. so much, well, five seasons now, where's his ring? Why does he not have his ring yet? And he's in the, in the trailer, there's a moment where he loses his suit or his suit gets destroyed or something like that. And his daughter, Nora, is just like, he's like, I need a suit. And she's like, I think I got something that can help you out with that. And she gives him a ring. I'm like, yeah. I'm all pumped about that. You're so. like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was a callback to a joke. I don't remember if we did on the air or not. Yeah, uh, there was a Supergirl. There was a, a Supergirl trailer. Um, uh, it's uh, what the frick's his name? Martian Manhunter. Yeah. No. Uh, you already lost my interest. I completely lost my train of thought because of it's, you. Thank you very much. It's your boy, Skinny Penis. He's the main villain. I just didn't want to tell you guys that I signed a contract. All right, while I try and get my thoughts back on this, um, yeah. Arrow, the lo- Longbow Hunters are coming to Arrow, and Stephen Amell wants the fans to hate all over this season. Now, the Longbow Hunter is a three, or the, I'm sorry, there was a, a three-issue arc called the Green Arrow, the Longbow Hunters. Um, it was written by Mike Grell and stars the character Green Arrow. Woohoo! <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> A uh, quick plot summary, according to Wikipedia, on his 43rd birthday, uh, Oliver Queen relocates to Star City to Seattle, home of his girlfriend, Dana, uh, uh, Dana Cla- Lance, changes his costume, abandons his use of trademark trick arrows for more traditional archery equipment. Uh, he goes on track to down a serial killer, the Seattle slasher, killing prostitutes in the area, blah, blah, blah. Um, the archers revealed, so he goes on, the slasher jumps to Oliver and gets away, apparently kill him again, but a mysterious female archer with an elaborate dragon tattoo on her arm shoots the slasher as well as a passing motorist before vanishing. The archer is revealed to be Shadow, the daughter of Yakuza. Now, if you remember Shadow, if you know Shadow, Shadow was kind of a big deal to Oliver in the first couple seasons because... He couldn't she, get away from him. She was... Followed him everywhere in the light. She was stuck on the island with him, uh... And she died, supposedly. So we'll see if Shadow actually comes back here. Uh, but there's a lot more to it than that. I think it's interesting. Now, we do know that a lot of it's going to take place in a prison because he's in prison right now for being the Green Arrow. He came out of the closet, per se, in the last Crowded episode him. of the last season. It was like, hey, I'm the Green Arrow. So they're Same. like, wah, 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 and they threw him in prison. So that's where he's at now. Because that's what justice gets you. <laughs> in prison. <laughs> Um, let's see here. And I wanted to look up one more thing because I cannot remember what I was going to say because you Hi. completely ruined my train of thought. It's okay. I'll talk to the audience for a bit because my solo time's the best time, right? It's like I'm pretty bad at doing things. So um, how are you guys this evening? Um, looks like Bob may have got his thoughts together. No, nope. Not yet. No. Nope. Okay. Um, check out Gaming Corner. I, that's the first episode of it, the beta episode. I do have an episode coming out this week. I think this week. Might be next week. I don't remember. I think it's going to be Thursday. Week. It's, it's I think it's going to be yes. Thursday. Yes. I think I'll be dropping a Thursday. Um, so, yeah, check that out. Uh, Nerdtocalypse is doing stuff. I think Fandom Vibe doesn't each have an episode coming out here soon. I hope so. Or he just had an episode come out. I, I Don't quote me. Um, we do have t-shirts at teespring.com backslash Nerdtalklips podcast, Nerdtalklips podcast network, something along those lines. When you see the Nerdtalklips thing, you'll, trust me, you'll know it when you see it. Uh, let's go support your boys. We had, do have a Patreon. It's at Nerdtalklips podcast network. Um, uh, give us a like, comment, subscribe, um, Hit us up on Instagram. All right, I got my um, thoughts together now. Hey, there we go. Uh, maybe if I would have actually typed them down like I wanted to. So Sam Witwer, uh, voice actor from Clone Wars and Rebels. He was Darth Maul. He also did uh, Emperor Palpatine. Do it. Uh, he was also in... Ooh, that one was beefy. He's also in a whole bunch of shows he was on. Um, What's that show called? Um, one on TV. Yeah, the one, the one that was on TV. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, the, the, he was on The Walking Dead, and he was in the first episode of The Walking Dead. He was on the show Being Human. Uh, he was on Grimm. Once upon a time, he played Mr. Hyde. Uh, but this season on Supergirl, he's going to play Agent Liberty. Now, Agent Liberty is a fictional character from DC. Uh, he was briefly Fights a for- member of the Justice League of America when Superman was dead. Now, he's an interesting person because he um, 
worked with the CIA way, ultimately left and discussed with their methods and types of missions he was asked being asked to undertake. He later became so disenchanted with the federal government as the whole that he joined the para- paramilitary group called the Sons of Liberty, who outfitted him with the costume and weaponry he uses as Agent Liberty. Uh, it seems that in this, he's going to be somebody who hates the super, the metahumans or the super beings. Mm-hmm. And he's going to be kind of like a villain in that aspect. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. It's kind of cool. That's what he looks like in the comics, if you've never seen him. That's actually kind of badass. Yeah. So uh, Sam Witwer. Oh, Sam Witwer also was on Smallville. He actually was Doomsday on Smallville, which is very interesting. Same. So, crazy what steroids will do. Yeah, crazy. Uh, so that is Supergirl, Krypton. Uh, Krypton has something coming out for season Lobo, two. Lobo, set to be the yeah, big bad right. of season two. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Did you watch season one? I know you were going to give it a look. I watched the first two or three episodes, and I just couldn't really get into it. Is it just boring, or I just, I, I, I just, I'm not, I, I don't care. Uh, it's like one of those things. Like I just, not, it didn't grab me in the yeah. first couple episodes. It didn't grab me enough for me to continue. You know, it's okay. so. there's not too much to grab. <laughs> oh, <that's true. laughs> all right. So with all of that, Colton, with everything that we've talked about, give me your winner. And you're a loser of Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con 2018. I have a tie between winner. Is that cool? Do I have to absolutely pick? Let's start with loser. Go for loser. Loser. Marvel. Just as a whole, Marvel. Why? Because, like, that, you could have drawn so much. Well, not really so much, but you could have, like, you know, Captain Marvel. Give us something, you know, until Mar- what, March is when that comes out. So, I mean, we really have nothing. I kind of agree. I think the biggest loser, and I know we're going to hear an outcry about this, but Marvel, but more specifically the MCU. Uh, with well, the, I mean, with the lack of any kind of presence at the Comic Con or at the Con, on top of the news of James Gunn being fired and the lack of information given for their Netflix shows, I think they really freaking dropped the ball here. And honestly, and I know people won't look at it this way, even though they should, uh, it was a huge slap in the face to the fans who have been loyal loyal for ten plus years at this point. Yeah. Like it, it, that's nothing. You can't do that. Yeah. Especially after Infinity War. Like you just can't. I mean, can't I do get that. the idea where they want to try and be, you know, ominous and quiet. Everybody's about what's going dead. On. But we already announced everybody's sequels. Exactly. <laughs> like, like we know we're gonna get all these sequels. Hey, everybody's dead, but we're gonna get a bunch of sequels. Like <laughs> uh, Guardians Three. I'm sorry. The easiest thing. There's nothing to hide at this point. Yeah. There's no reason to hide to hide the title at this point. Yeah. You There's should n- just said it. Yeah. Like that would have been amazing if if. Kevin Feige just walked up on stage like, okay, 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 like just un- like not like it wouldn't have been planned. Like it wouldn't have been <laughs> just pushes someone off stage. Hey, Avengers Forest titles this and just wa- drops the mic and walks the fuck off. <laughs> but no, yeah, I mean he comes out and he's just like, look, you know, I just got off a flight. Like just come up with a story to make it fun and exciting. You know, yeah. I just got back. You know, we're doing some, some. Boy, I got off this flight in my wing, and boy, are my arms tired. But you know, he's sitting there like, you know, like, oh, you know, we've been hard at work at this, and you know, I, I just, I just found out some crazy news, and I wanted to get it all to you. If Officially, you know, I, well, we weren't sure if we we're going to do it, but, you know, I think we're going to do it now. The official name of Avengers 4 is, and then, boom, it pops up on the screen behind them. Footlong Wieners. But it comes up, boom, Avengers, blah, 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 Footlong Wieners. And he just walks off the stage. Yeah, and then that's it. And that's it. Dude, that would have been huge. Huge. That would have done more. Um, it probably would have tied DC, in my opinion. Yeah, they would have just did one thing. But what's your winner, then? Um, I'm going to either say The Return of Clone Wars or Black Manta from the Aquaman trailer. I really like Black Manta. See, for me, I would say Warner Brothers DC definitely had a strong outing. Uh, but for my money, Star Wars took it. They stole the show. Yeah. Like, opening day, they stole the show with the somewhat surprising announcement of the continu- continuation of Clone Wars. I, yeah. I, I mean, I'm sorry. We all knew that we were getting... A Shazam trailer. We all knew we were getting Aquaman. We all yeah. knew... We didn't walk into anything we didn't know we were getting. Yeah, I mean, I was excited about all of it. I'm still really excited about all of it. But the fact that they that Star Wars and Lucasfilm were able to keep something like this under wraps as long as they did... Yeah, and nothing. And nothing leaked. It's amazing. Like, they've already recorded their episodes. Yeah, you know, for and, the, and most of it And I'm sure done. most of it is done. Yeah, so... Come on, man! Like they yeah. hid that for so long. Uh, to me, it, that's that's the clear winner. And it's crazy to think that they had one panel, one hour and a half 
conversation and they beat out a two and a half hour long, three hour long or two hour long, whatever, however long the DC Warner Brothers panel was, it beat that out. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, to me, it's just fantastic and amazing. I can't wait. I can't wait. And then, and, and you know, you were talking about it a little bit ago. I heard you talking about Nerdtocalypse and Fandom Vibe yeah. and stuff like that. Definitely keep an eye out for Fandom Vibe because they have, um, or Deep's going to have some pretty cool information, I'm sure, to talk about on there about Comic Con. So, you know, keep up watching yeah. that. Uh, he's out there doing shit and things. Yeah, he's doing things. Um, you know, out on the far side of things. Yeah, he, it's uh, crazy. Let's see here. I'm getting really lightheaded. I think I'm about to, to, to die here or something. I don't know. I don't know man. I'm always lightheaded. Um, then there's a show that I want to give a shout out for. I haven't met the, the guy or the host of this show, but I heard him on the Fandom Vibe last week, and I thought he was an excellent, excellent co-host for Deej. Um, but there's a show called Spoiler Country. If you have not checked it out, check it out. It's two guys talking about things they enjoy, comics, books, movies, science, and whatever. Uh, they have a shit ton of episodes. He actually went to San Diego Comic-Con, so check his episodes out. He has, let me see here, uh, day one, so one, two, three, four, five. He has five episodes this past weekend, all covering San Diego Comic Con. One just was released five hours ago. I'm sure he'll have more coming out this week. He's really knowledgeable. I really enjoyed listening to him. So mm. check out his show called Spoiler Country. Uh, hopefully he hears this and hears me give him a shout out. So hopefully he does. But he's a cool guy. Um, I really, I, I, I look forward to hopefully you know chatting with him one time, meeting him or something like that because he's cool. Yeah. So, Get him on the show. Be nice. Go on his show. Yeah, I won't contribute much. I'll make a couple dick jokes, but you know, you know. I was going to give a quick shout out. It was pretty interesting. I took I was dropping my kids off today. All right, I was I was at the the Gecko gas station I go to, and my kids and I are sitting in the car, and this this old lady comes walking up to the car. She comes walking up to the car, and she just like peeks in the window, and she goes, "Oh hey, is you all hot?" And they're like, "Yeah." And she's like, "Okay, I'll be right back." She walks into the Gecko, comes out, and gives them ice cream sandwiches. Fucking nice. I'm like, that's awesome. Did she get you one? No, I didn't need one. What? Because I'm fat. That just means you sweat more. <laughs> I can, I can fucking inconsiderate old people. I fucking tell you, <laughs> you should have got two, one for each titty. <laughs> it was just kind of cool. A little shout out to that old woman, yeah, you know, or older woman. She's not an old woman, but yeah, you know, older woman. Fuck older, you! Older you didn't man. get him an ice cream sandwich. Yeah, shout out! It, it's nice when people do stuff like that for kids. You know, like yeah, but uh, you're a kid at heart. I, I am, yeah. <laughs> Uh, just, <laughs> I'm you know, kidding. I'm kidding. Just uh, make sure you you know you stay you pay attention to the the Nerd Talk Loops podcast network. We got some things coming up here shortly. Yeah. Um. There's some uh, fun things going on. Some uh, uh, fun things going on. Uh, keep a lookout for. I, I actually released a um a, a personal podcast of mine that you can find. Uh, it's only on Spreaker right now. Spreaker. Uh, it's called... Uh, Is it on iTunes or anything? S- not yet, no. Not yet. Stories from the Mind of Bob. Um, I released Roberto. one episode. And they're only going to be short little 20, 30 minute episodes where I just talk about my life. That's pretty mm-hmm. much all it is. So I say check it out if you want. Uh, you don't have to. Be kind of nice. If you to want know. to know how Bob works. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be an open book on that show pretty much. So. You're uh, an open book in bed too. Whoa. How would you know? Only like two people know about that. Oh, I mean, uh, <laughs> oh, uh-huh. um, yeah, check out Gaming Corner. I'm releasing VR versus AR. I, I, I'm actually looking forward to that. Yeah, I also do have a lot of GTA stuff, too. It's pretty cool. All so, right. Yeah, well, check that, that out Thursday. That's been this episode of Bridging the Geekdom, San Diego Comic Con. Holy shnikes! That's what I'm calling this episode. Holy shit. <laughs> I was watching your Chris Farley skits <laughs> before you <he> came back. <laughs> oh, but uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks oh, for listening. We will, uh, I guess, talk to you next week. I should probably play the theme music. Bye. <laughs>
all of the updated and brand new podcasts from Bridging the Geekdoms podcast. And while you're at it, check out our buddies over at Nerd Talk Lips podcast and the fandom vibe. Hit like, subscribe to them, listen to them, give them a shot as well because, you know, we're one big happy network at Nerd Talk Lips podcast network and, uh, you know, we want to spread some love and this can only happen with you the listeners. So definitely hit hit those up, hit us up, make sure you follow, like us, comment on our Facebook group, join in on our Facebook group, do all of those fun things so that way you can be more involved with what we bring to you. Thanks for listening, everybody.